On the eve of the Pacific Island Leaders Forum, Fiji's military strongman is again making it clear he's no fan of the Australian government. Fiji's been suspended from the forum, but Commodore Frank Barney Marama says it's Australia and New Zealand who shouldn't be there. He says they don't have Fiji's interest at heart. More from Philippa MacDonald. Commodore Frank Baini Marama has been gathering support from his Pacific Island friends, but he doesn't count the Australian government among them. I don't think they should be in the forum. They're not Pacific Islanders. He says Australia has little in common with Fiji, which has been under a military dictatorship for almost four years, and that Australian diplomats deserve to be expelled. They have made life miserable for the people of Fiji for the last four years. Commodore Baini Marama says he's not yet ready to have Radio Australia broadcasting back in Fiji and he's looking forward to the demise of the News Limited owned Fiji Times. Well, I'll be glad that uh, people like the Fiji Times will no longer be here. We'll have our ownership of the papers. Baini Marama's regime censors all Fiji's media. We met the chief censor who asked not to be identified. That's an infringement on media's media freedom. But then again, what really is media freedom? Well, it, the censorship uh, is quite serious, quite severe within the, the press, in the press and also the electronic media. Frank Barney Marama boasts he's succeeded in silencing many of his critics, especially church leaders and the great council of chiefs. They were politicised, so I need to silence them. I need to have them silenced. For the thousands of Australian tourists who visit Fiji, the impact of a military dictatorship isn't apparent, but it is for Fijians who are afraid to speak out. Philippa MacDonald, ABC News.